Good morning, it's day 56. We are leaving the shelter now and can you hear it? Barely any wind. In fact, there's nothing blowing right here. I hear wind far off in the distance, but it's a cloudless day, sunny, and should warm up because the sun is shining. And the first four miles outside of the shelter is all open grasslands, which means pony area. So we should see ponies soon. Check out this view. We couldn't see any of this before. And then it broke sometime late evening, but there's actually Mount Rogers right here. Way off in the right there is Mount Rogers. And <laughs> it's cloudy, but look at down there, clear. And the moon, it's gonna be a nice day. I have to say the shelter was really nice, but this tenting area just north of the shelter is really nice. The bear box is right down there. You get amazing views over here on the mountain. And I thought it would be pretty windy here, but this is a slightly protected from the brush. But a little behind here, there were spots here and there scattered. Looks like people camp in there. A little more protected, a little more private. Beautiful tent site. I also think this bear box has the best view of any <laughs> bear box I've seen yet. Look at this. Crazy. And that bear box is really big. Probably twice as big as the one at the last shelter. But look at the views from up here. I think people camp out around here too. Although camping right next to a bear box is the best. Best idea. Wow. All right. Ponies, where are you? I'm finding you now. Right now, kind of torn. Um, the ponies like to come up to people and lick their legs and stuff, especially the hikers to get all the salt off. But last night at the shelter, like my usual evening routine, I wiped my legs clean. And we're in the Grayson Highlands soon and uh, I'm not gonna work up a sweat by then, it's cold. So I'm gonna have no sweat on my legs for them. So, sorry ponies. I just need to make you think there's salt on my legs. So you come close, I could get pictures and video. But uh, no treat for you. This is AT here, but there are little side trails everywhere. Guessing because the ponies wearing it out, and this one's really worn in. And the other side, there's another one. So any side trail I see, I slow down and look around to see if there's anything down there. So far, nothing. But the AT is back in the woods again. Look, another side trail. Could be people camped out in some of these spots too. But I'm sure it's a combination of people and ponies. See, more side trail. Nothing. Mount Rogers up ahead. Look at the clouds drifting over the mountain. It's weird how it's going over instead of just around it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Another side trail, no ponies. I believe that's Mount Rogers again, way back there. The AT just came up these rocks. It's fun how a trail sometimes just goes wink and it makes you go over these, it's basically rock wall. And then more open meadow, no ponies yet. So just beautiful, beautiful. Seeing the clouds far below, pretty amazing.
I was gonna go to these cliffs, so I totally missed it. But here is Fat Man Squeeze. Looks pretty tight right there. Let's check it out. It is tight. Oh. oh. It's not so bad. Not so bad at all. I think the hardest part is getting splashed by those drops. Do you see them? And not stepping in water. Oh. Not bad at all. So supposedly this is way better than the lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze is supposed to be super tight. Welcome to Grayson Highland State Park, Virginia. We are here and we loop and go back out, but uh, the trail isn't clearly visible. Well, I guess it's kind of visible. It's mostly just green, but uh, let's look for ponies now. I've been sitting at this rock between the intersection of the AT and a horse trail. And someone walked by and said there's ponies right over there but it didn't say really how far but i see two people taking photos over there so i'm gonna run over and take photos hopefully they didn't get too far there are a couple of them there's a light brown one and there's a white one way on the right they're so small time for the big camera <music>
like four feet from me. He's getting closer. Let me see if I can touch him. Oh, he's moving away. This guy's just eating away. He's ate a fresh poopy though, but this white one looks like a younger one. It's making horsey noises. Look at soft fur. This log cutout over the trail is perfect. Just water is cascading like crazy over it. Beautiful water. So fast. And the trail is right here. Perfect notch. Perfect. I just came up here because there is this little really well-worn trail up this steep incline but it looks like campsites some good some not so good but here's the trail down and it's right after the bridge and there's a bear box and everything pretty steep little section I was just curious what was up here I thought it might get views or something but the AT goes to left I was wondering why there was a bear box here wow I was about to say that that's it for the ponies everyone but there are several ponies on the trail, or off the trail, just in the bush. I'm going to try to get a little closer, hopefully they don't all run off. Yeah, the trail goes right along the right there, so hopefully I can get closer shots of them. They look more wary than the ones I saw back where everybody goes. Seem like there's four tiny ones. One's a little bigger than the others. But then there's one way bigger. I don't think you can see her through the bushes. But she's been she hasn't been eating. She's keeping an eye on me. So I won't get any closer, but she's much bigger than the other one. She looks like a real horse. I thought there were six here, but I only see five right now. I don't know where the other ones are.
I gotta say that was pretty sweet. I actually thought that I wasn't gonna see any more ponies at all because the three I saw were in the state park and we've been long out of the state park. And no, actually, I might be in a little bit of it. But we crossed a couple of t turnstiles and the ponies can't get through unless there's a fence broken somewhere. And I didn't see any poop for a while, so I thought, oh, that's it, no more ponies. And then five more out of the blue. I think the big one might be a male. That's my guess. And he was looking over his females. That's why he was keeping an eye on me. He's like, oh, I got to protect my girls. But it's pretty nice. I spent quite a bit up there. Uh, I'll put the time, how long I spent there based on the first picture and the last picture. It was quite a bit, but I'm glad it all worked out nicely. I didn't get too close because I didn't want the big guy uh, too cautious. He seemed pretty relaxed though, so I think I did all right. But now we're gonna cross a little stream here and then I guess we go up and down some, I don't know. Just up and downs, you know, the usual, the huge. Look at this big open area I'm in now. I've only seen really old pony dropping, so I don't think there are any more out here. But don't you wish it was like this every time, don't I wish, that you came open a, came upon a ball like this? It just slight breeze enough to keep you cool from the climb up and uh oh yeah fresh poop actually that's not too fresh that's old but uh yeah this would be ideal every time we come up here but yeah i just want to show you what i'm looking at up here it looks like we're gonna head down soon so we're not gonna see much more but just open area it's weird how they just pop up it's just bushes here and there no tree well here are trees here and there, but nothing big. It's quite odd, huh? I thought I was done with the ponies, but back there I just saw three more. And down there I see three and at least two more, maybe a third one. There's six more. Maybe, oh, there's a seventh one down low. It just came out of the bushes. There are a lot of ponies past Grayson Highlands, which is surprising. All the ponies are way out there, but there's a fence right along the side. And in fact, there's a huge fence in area right here. Originally when I was coming down, I thought, it, they use it when they crawl up the ponies for sale. They, I guess they do that once in a while. But it's just a huge camping area, I believe. There's a pit toilet to the right and a bear box in the middle. It's so weird seeing such a developed campsite just in the middle of nowhere and completely fenced off so the ponies can't get to you. Isn't that funny? I guess the fence does have gates, so if you walk out, if you want to walk out to the ponies, you can. I don't know how well this fence works. There's pony poop all over the place. This is a great campsite if the weather's nice. When it's not too windy because it's just super exposed right here. And if you can find big enough spots between all the horse poop, there's a nice bear box there. It's really nice. Super amazing. I bet the sunsets and sunrises here are amazing. Wow. Oh, there's someone on the right. So that down there was a Scales campground. As I was leaving, two people were coming in and I saw one person and I saw a second person. I was like, hey, where'd she get that ice cream? Looked like she had a pint of ice cream and she was eating it, like vanilla ice cream. But it wasn't until I got really close I saw it was a paintbrush and she was repainting the <laughs> blazes everywhere. <laughs> but I was like, man, where'd she get that vanilla ice cream? I have glasses on too. Maybe it's just me subconsciously seeing what I want to see. Vanilla ice cream. No touch. I was having a nice day, 
but thankfully for the coyotes I had a good laugh just now as well. There's all this ground around here and right on this rock, coyotes. It's about 3.40 and I just arrived at Old Orchard Shelter. It is a older one and <laughs> the floor definitely has a lean to it. I wasn't going to sleep up here anyway. I heard it's, it gets pretty mousy wherever they are. I, mean, I don't know where they hide, but there are plenty of crevices where they can come, come into the shelter from. But we, I will use a picnic table, of course. And behind me is the tent area. So this is straight facing away from the shelter. Nice big tent area and there's a bear box right over there. And uh, Privy is on the other side of the AT. We're a little bit away from the AT, so but it's nice when the privy is further away because sometimes they're really close. But look at all, there's more tent spots. Tons of them. Look at all the bugs on this tent today. There are all these little gnats. There's a ton of them all over. So I closed the mesh tightly because I saw them flying around earlier today. I didn't think they would all land on my tent though. This one's got a monster carabiner. Good luck, bears. At one shelter, the bear box is really close. This one, the shelter is way out there, pretty far. And there's a fire in here. I guess people eat here. My tent is way over there. Pretty far. Everything's far away. The way it should be, I guess. Hello there. I'm inside my tent. Everything's all done. I finished editing one video and I actually started and finished editing another. And I also realized I wore down 60% of the battery on my Sony today. So, which is good, which is awesome. 60%. So I'm actually having to charge one of those because yesterday, because it rained all day, I had it in my backpack and it got flipped on and one whole battery was dead. So I only have one good battery. So I'd like to have another one charging up just in case, cause I still have two more days before I'm in town. So. But yeah, lots going on. So I'm rendering that. I'm going to head out for one last bathroom break. And then that's it for tonight. I'm going to sleep. It's a little past eight. And I think there's a couple other people in camp. I heard them talking. So I should end this quickly because they can probably hear me. So thanks for watching. And everybody, you all have a great night. And thanks again to all the trail angels that have helped support this channel and all the ways that they have done. And they're just, I don't want to boast, it sounds bad, but they're just too many for me to keep up. Um, especially just a few times I get signal, I'll check. And when I do get signal, all I do is chat with Tina to see how she's doing. So, but thank you to everybody out there so much. You all have a good night. Bye.